Research in Australia and around the world shows that wealth and money may have more to do with someone's vulnerability to a natural disaster than the size of the disaster itself. So the poorer you and your community are, the harder a natural disaster is going to hit you. Natural hazards like bushfires, floods, cyclones and droughts are all very common in Australia. Interestingly, not all natural hazards cause disasters, even big hazard events. It's only when a natural hazard causes major damage, that's when we call it a disaster. For a hazard to become a disaster, there needs to be an overlap between that hazard and things that are in the way and vulnerable to getting damaged. So with no vulnerability, there is no disaster. Disasters happen because people and communities really can't cope and are completely overwhelmed. So for governments and the emergency services, disasters are about overwhelmed people and communities and failed systems for coping, not really about the extreme forces of nature. Obviously, for everyday people like us, any event can be a personal disaster, even if the government doesn't declare it as a disaster. A huge number, 80% of all of the natural disasters in Australia are actually caused by extreme weather and climate events. Climate change will make weather disasters worse, which is really important to know so we can all plan for them better. In Australia, our weather patterns seesaw between warmer, drier periods we call El Ninos and cooler, wetter periods we call La Ninas. Droughts, heat waves and bushfires are all more common during El Ninos and floods and storms are more common during La Ninas. Because of this, we would think that bushfire disasters would occur with bigger El Ninos and flood disasters would occur with bigger La Ninas. However, new work on a range of weather disasters in New South Wales doesn't actually show this. So the take home message is that weather and climate disasters in Australia don't occur because naturally we're a land of fire and flood extremes, but because our community systems fail and let us down. Money, or a lack of money, are a big part of this, and poorer communities always get hit harder. We can avoid disasters, but it takes good disaster planning combined with well-resourced communities.